to my channel. Love all. Welcome back to my channel. D L A M B O Y. Welcome back to my channel. Love all. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, okay, come on through. Hey, you guys, how you doing? Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And do hit that notification bell right after you subscribe, just so you can be notified when I, Glamboy LaFar, upload, and you can be updated with everything. Now, to all of my new subscribers, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will be delivering for you guys to make sure you guys have everything you need. And I do mean everything. When it comes down to hair, wigs, makeup, skincare, DIYs, and stuff like that. Anything else? Oh, vlogging and stuff like that. Anything else? Like, you're going to have to go to my girl or my boy channel for some more stuff. In the meantime and in between time, I just wanted to bring you guys a new video. And I permed my hair, you guys. Like, my kitchen ain't cute. Like, my kitchen ain't cute. But that's okay. That's okay. Because... I'm back. You guys, if you want to know just what this whole concoction is, stay tuned. All right, you guys. So, this concoction today that I have for you guys is a ponytail frontal style, if you would. This is a frontal in the top, and this is my hair in the back. And all, well, all of my hair is pulled up in a ponytail. I did the ball cap method from me doing the ball cap method. I cut it off like a moon pie and literally it was like so short. And I put a frontal on top because like I didn't want my hair to wrinkle up in the back like this and the top and it really not be as slick as I want it to be. So I'm like, you know what? What about all of my natural hair people? All of my girls who don't have enough hair, enough edges and things like that. Like, what about you guys? And that gave me the great idea to just go ahead, do a video. I experimented first on myself, of course. And I glued the frontal down. I liked the way it looked. And coming from there, I styled this hair right with you guys. So, if you guys actually want to see me um, glue down a frontal and show you how to pull it up into a ponytail and it look very natural. Let me know. Let me know. And I definitely will be doing that video for you guys. <sighs> Let's go ahead and get started with what happened in the making of this whole thing. Okay, you guys, so this is Baba Platinum Soft Curly Braid. This is a 100% Calcalon hair. And, you know, it came in this kind of pack. This is what the back looks like. And, and that's yeah. what this pack says. And I only used one pack, you guys. I used one pack. I used two different kinds of um, bobby pins to achieve this style. So the frontal was glued down. We got to be sprayed in a cute ponytail. We left our bang portion braided. We slicked everything up first. Then we applied our bang method um, next. And then coming from having all of this molded completed, you're going to need a blow dryer. We moved on to bobby pinning the hair and doing the Nubian knots and the spikes. I hope that was not too much for you. Like I said, I do have a video in showing you just how you can achieve this at home. I personally would have used two to three packs because I like a nice, full, you know, big, you know, pretty type of, you know, um, like ball gathering type of like, you know, extra look, you know, me personally. But I wanted to come to you guys just to show you this is something you can do within 30 minutes or less. You know, you pack a hair. You know, have the curl at the end. Always have the curl at the end. That way your spikes will be perfect. Cacalon braiding hair. And you just can't go wrong. I'm going to go ahead and get out the way. I always talk a lot. But I talk a lot so I can teach you guys and tell you firsthand. Because some people, you know, they learn differently. So, for my fast learners, you always know. Just kind of speed through me talking. Unless you want to miss all the tea. And move straight to the video. But... 
I would not advise that. I would advise just listen to me. <laughs> listen, like, that sounds so crazy. Listen to me. No, but for real, like, I have some valuable stuff to teach you guys. So, yeah, I would listen to me too, you know? And get some kikis and kakas and la-las. But, all right, you guys, that's ending of this portion. That's the ending of this portion. And, like, I talk so low, sometimes you might can't make out my words, but I try to, you know, fix it up. Anyway, I just love talking with you guys. I do. I love talking. So, especially with my viewers, like, this is why you're here. You, you, you know, you want to be entertained. Be safe. Black Lives Matter. Everybody within that movement, you already know we stand together. We love you guys. Standing with us, standing for us, believing in and with us. So we love you guys. All of the supporters that's moving with the movement. Love you guys to pieces. Stay strong. Stay safe. And enjoy your video. And your family and friends too. Because the quarantine is over. Hey! Well, almost. It's time to get this. Oh, do not judge me. Ooh, look at all this glitter from my do-rag. Oh my goodness, y'all. Okay, so I got the the like limited edition do-rags from the beauty supply store. And yeah, when you sleep on them at nighttime, like you get glitter everywhere. So don't judge me. Back to the scheduled program. Sight. This is to make sure I don't get razor bumps. So hey you guys. Okay, I already didn't done my little frontal. I put the frontal on already. And I left out my piece that I want to leave out. Now it's about getting this back straight. Which isn't going to be a problem because it ain't that much hair. I actually permed my hair for, um, I actually permed my hair for this, um, whole giddy up. So, y'all better be lucky. I I was like not going to do that like at all. So we gonna look this is not gonna take long at all, like honestly. Cause my hair just it straightens anyway. Alright. <laughs> Cause this is meant to be something classy, you know. This is meant to be something very nice, classy, and I'm showing y'all how to do this. 
So, of course, you're just going to pull it up, pin it up, do it up, you know, make sure it's smoothed up. And coming from there, like what I like doing is I like blowjobbing. In the same tape. I like blow drying in between takes. That way you can actually mold it the way you you know want to. Because the mold is everything, especially up through here, like right up and through here. And what make it so bad? I'm doing all this with no scrunchie. The crap. Okay, I found an old. I found an old rubber band. We want to get this bad baby as close and as tight as possible. And let's see how she does. Okay, she giving us almost teeth. She need to be sprayed down back here though. And I should have flat ironed her better. But whatever. <laughs> So now, this part is going to lay down as well. I'll just show you real quick. Spray a little bit of that on there. I'm gonna come down and we're gonna blow up. So we want that to lay down that way. You can keep it straight like this, but I prefer to curl it. So now we got that out the way. Now, oh, I don't know if 
if I like I've been debating do I want to swoop this or do I just want to you know just curl it anyway you know I've been debating what to do what to do you know I should keep this food because I already like that. Okay. Okay, this is a different hairdo, so no, none of that. We, oof, Lord, I want to keep it out. step at a time and everything will be fine but it is going to be difficult especially like in situations like this and then even if you can't get it the way you want it spray the comb that way you can get little stuff like that out the way then these be the most you know difficult parts and really getting all that to come up and smooth very seamlessly. But so far, you know, I think we're doing a great job. When you get to the top, the, the hair that's left over, you're just going to wrap around. You're going to wrap that around. And once you wrap that around, it still is going to give you a... And a quick disclaimer, like I hurt my elbow. But let like, me look too with you to make sure. But I don't know. Yeah. So it's in the healing process. So yes. don't make fun of my elbow. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You want to look, you want all that to come up smooth. Cause see it almost got me. Make sure it's smooth. Make sure it's up there. And make sure you have it right. Look. When you know you got it, hold it with the comb. And blow dry it. situations you're gonna have to use your hands use your hands to mold it you should be good it's working out 
do not rest. I stretch to you, do not rest. Because you can still, like you can tie this portion down for the night, go to sleep, and then turn around and wake up and then do the next portion. So, you know, it'll work out. But you have to, and then when you spray it, it takes a while for it to dry. So you most definitely want to make sure you feel, you pat in, make sure you have everything right and together. See, you got to get close up on it. Look at it. You know, make sure you know. Because so you see that? Snatched. Because all oh, that is smooth going back. And I'm going to spray that again. Because that's exactly, you know. Do not be afraid of the hair. Once you spray it, you got to make sure you blow it. I have to turn it on high. Now that feels excellent. Now, to, you know, fill in stuff like that, just take it that far. And then once you seal your style, that's when you fix all the rest of the, you know, ins and outs. So now we're already at what we're at what phase two. Here we go. Let's hit it. Oh, and for the shine before. I used because you know I know you see that <laughs> yes and that it that, that ensures like everything like I'm gonna rub some more on that before we um straighten that and yeah this is it for this portion dryer done now it's time for hair so for this video I will be using her Biba Platinum Soft Curly Braid Cacalon you know Cacalon hair something simple it was only $3.99 that's it Tree 99 and do you see see I didn't want to mess up the curl pattern that I didn't want to do which I'm messing it up now but look at her look at her and this is what we going for today so, I just want to take a big portion of it firsthand. And we have our bobby pin. We have we have bobby pins. We have open face and then we have closed face. So, with bobby pins, if you don't know, the um closed face bobby pins will look like And the open face will look like this. So for this, we're going to use one closed face. And 
coming from us doing that. I'm going to bobby pin us one right there. Bam. And then let's get the twist in. So yeah, I got inspired. Um, row, row, row. And then we're going to pin her with a open face. We pin her with an open face right here so far. Then we take our the rest of what we have right here. You see that? And we take open faces. And you see like this curly cue. You can bobby pin that right in there. Bobby pin it. You see this curly Q? Put a bobby pin in it. Bobby pin it. So that's just two so far. We're going to do two because, you know, the less you use, the better it is in sleeping and it doesn't hurt and towards the ending all of them will come together and like you can do these so many different ways but this is just something quick easy fun let's bring it back seen none of these in a ponytail in so long especially coming out with the spikes hands. especially coming out with the spikes you should be trapping you send it to the back like once you twist it so much you just send it to the back send it to the back and then that way you can like you twist as far as you want to dogs knowing you let them out I was wondering I'm like what is that noise Trap it. 
My little elbow, I be like, oh, I can't stand this. Shit. I'm like, nigga, you can't help. Did you hurt yourself? Shit. Like, I'm a really, really bad roughneck. Like, I rush too fast. I'm on the go. I love indoor, outdoor projects. Like, I'm glam boy, but I'm a um, boy too I love the outside too but I'm honestly loving the quarantine too let's just keep it real and baby we is almost there Love it, love it, love it. Now, this is just like any kind of dude, a cute dude, prom. And bam, you guys. I do believe this sure hair do. Wasn't that easy? It was so easy, you guys. Like, give me a little shine. Like, literally a drop. Literally. Cause this part is hard, so you know we sprayed it to make it stay down. And 
one try. We got it. Because we want it to eventually fall. So that actually is perfect. Perfect, you guys. I hope you like. Now, mind you, I want it to be extra because I will use two packs. Shoot, you got me bent. Yes, I will use two packs. And that'll be that. Now it's time to get dressed. Like, mind you, any, like anything that you want to fix, trust me, anything, all you literally have to do at this point is just like, okay, say for instance, I'm going to be extra with you guys, but whatever. Let's go ahead and, of course, you already know what I'm going to say. Define our part. Okay, we're going to take some because I do want that part to be seen. All right, so we're taking a little bit on the top. We put a little concealer on the back. The same concealer I would say you set, you know, your face and stuff with. And then we're going to start from the back. You see why I started from the back? You see what I'm saying? That way, like, you can most definitely not mess up. Now, you don't want to dip it in that concealer a lot. Don't even just lightly. Like, you want to take your time and build it up. You see what I'm saying? Take your time and build her up. Because this is a crucial time. You know, this is a crucial time for you and your hairdo. And from what you do from here. And then always make sure when you take it down to your forehead, smooth it out. Smooth it out. Go back with your foundation brush. And get yourself together. Get them edges back together. Go right up in there and get it right back together because you will see, you will, you will see. However, being that we cleaned it up so well, I still don't see a connecting point. So that makes me... Okay, that's much better, but I still, um, and again, when I feel like I get concealer everywhere on this part and it's too unnatural, I go inside one of my palettes, I pull the black, and I fix, I go right through, and I, you just go fix it, fix all of it that got on the excess hair and blend it in. You see what I'm saying? Detone it. Make it look natural. So like ensuring this way, you can't mess it up. You can't and it's going to always look natural. Mm. All right, you guys, that will conclude your video. See you later, because I definitely had to get a little latte to get me, get me going, because this video was, uh, it was a lot of work that it was, but I got it together for you guys, and I do think I absolutely love it. 
mean, I tell y'all I love everything. That's because I do. You don't know how hard it is. I'm doing my own hair, my own makeup, my own wigs, my own editing, my own photo shoots. You know, like, do y'all know how hard it is to not like something you push so much time into, you know? So I be liking everything. Some stuff I don't know, but that's nor here or there. Um, I'm debating because I think I want to spray a little bit more on the swoop, but I really don't know because it's hard enough. So I guess I'm just going to leave it. Top off a little lip, shimmering lip. Because, like, the camera never does justice with my lips. Like, I'm using this holographic. Um, I'm using this, and, like, it does no justice. Like, it is, like, blinking out this world. Like, but whatever. Bye, you guys. This is already, like, an hour video. Like, it's 5820. And I'm going to chop this down, hopefully, to about, like, 15 minutes, maybe. You know, 20 Depending. Bye, you guys. Pumpkin spice latte with hazelnut. A little more sugar.